booktube it's Andrea and I'm here today because it is approximately my one year anniversary of posting videos for booktube it's been a great year can't believe it's been a year and I can't believe I've con constantly been updating my channel now we have gone off the rails slightly sometimes we haven't just been doing um, books we've done Marilyn collections and coloring videos I've got a camera collection to show you and so on but I do love posting to my channel. I do love every single one of my subscribers, all 200 odd of you. Thank you very much. And I hope we might get some more subscribers in the next year. So Book Your Imagination created this tag called the Anniversary Booktube tag and tagged me in it. So I will link Book Your Imagination's channel down below if you want to go and check out her channel because she's fabulous. So let's get on. There's 14 questions pertaining to Booktube and our anniversary. So number one. Which anniversary are you celebrating? Well, for me, it is one. I have had a channel for a while, but I never posted anything on it until, really until last May when I started talking about books. Two, what genre does your channel focus on? Well, my channel doesn't really focus on any particular genre. I will read anything. I am a book whore, as we all know. Um, so I like fiction, I like non-fiction, I like plays, I like poetry, um, I like YA, I like contemporary. You know, I will read anything, so I don't particularly focus on any one um, genre. Three, what are you most proud of from the past year? Well, the fact that I've actually kept this up for an entire year. Because I have a lot of hobbies and I get obsessed with one hobby for a long time, for so long, and then I, it, I, it sort of drops off. So I may be focused on my digital photographer ages and editing, and then that'll drop off and I'll go on to something else like analog photography, and then that'll drop off, then it'll be coloring, and then it'll be books, and then it'll go back to the photography. So the fact that I've actually continuously uploaded videos every month for the past year is amazing. Number four, do you receive ARCs to review or Advance Reader Coffees? I am a member of NetGalley, so I do get some ebooks that way. Um, and I do work with a publisher called Head of Zeus on a lot of their blog tours, and they send me blurbs and say, do you want to copy this book? But normally it's not an Advance Reader copy. It's come out um, the, the, that month that I receive it. So yes and no. So I get them from NetGalley, and I do love uh, reading the books from there. So five, what types of videos do you most like to do? I love book hauls and I love wrap ups. I'm not gonna lie, I, I love book hauls. Um, I like showing people what books I found in a month, whether it be 10, 20, 30, or even five. I, I just think it's a nice way to show off what you plan on reading next. I do love um, doing the wrap ups. I love talking about the books and what I thought of them. I like tags, but I don't just do enough of them. I don't do enough of them. I don't get tagged in enough of them to do them because I haven't got a very big um, viewer schedule yet but I'm hoping that'll change. Six, what types of videos do you most like to watch? Book videos, um, book hauls. I love watching book hauls. I love to see what people are buying, um, what they're being sent and what they're thinking of, of reading. Um, I also like um, watching their wrap ups or um, tags. Again, I love watching the tags. And outside of booktube, I love um, color and chats, like with Jen with Reading and Pugs and Shaleen and Dee Dee. I love all those coloring videos. I like things like that. Seven, was there anything um, you tried on your channel that didn't work? Um, I think uh, one of the lowest readers was the, the Let's Talk About Terry Pratchett. So I haven't done any more Let's Talk About um, sections. I did, I did that because I was appearing in one of the plays. Um, but yeah, I don't think that went down too well. Eight, is there anything you did last year that you want to do again this year all of it i'm just going to keep doing it i'm going to keep talking about books i'm going to keep reading books i'm going to keep buying books i'm going to keep showing you books i'm going to tell you what i think about books i'm also going to do a lot more coloring there you go that's that one nine is there anything you plan to do more of this year um i hope to do some more vlogging when i go shopping for books um i plan on going to book barn international at some point this year and i plan on taking you guys with me um, this is a, a big book warehouse in, in Bristol which has a cafe so I plan on popping over there some point this year and, and hopefully I will take my camera with me and you can come along and uh, see what you think. 10. Is there anything new you want to add to your channel this year? I just want to make 
videos about books and have people watch them and there will be more colour in I think because you know sometimes when there's not a lot going on in the book world for me for instance I don't receive a lot of the, the latest YA arcs so I'm reliant most on tags, hauls and wrap ups um, then I like to do, fill, fill it in with a bit of colour in so I've got quite into the colouring community with like I said Jen Reading and Pugs and, and Shaleen Toland and Grace Fonseca, I love all those channels, I love to watch them. Um, so there'll be a bit more colouring, but obviously if you're not interested in colouring, you just don't have to watch the video, same as if you're not interested in books, you don't watch the book ones. 11. What are some challenges you faced on your channel? I think it's just finding the time to make the videos. I tend to bulk make videos just simply because, it, sometimes, not always, just because it's easier, because I work I don't work shifts in the sense that I work um, 6 to 2, 10, 10, 6, but I do work till 6 o'clock some nights and then I might go straight to the theatre from work if I'm helping out with a show. So sometimes it is just finding enough time, not only to make videos but also to read. I found that this month, because I've been doing a lot more colouring, I haven't read very much, but that doesn't mean I don't want to read. I am also reading George R. R. Martin, which is, you know, is massive. So that's going to take me a bit longer than normal. So yeah, so I, yeah, I mean, it's, it is, it's linked with everybody, it's time. 12, what equipment do you use to film your videos? I use my Canon EOS 700D um, for filming, uh, whether it's uh, out vlogging or my colour and chats, flip throughs. Uh, book tours, book hauls, no matter, it's all filmed on that camera which I use for my main photography as well and I also have some lights, you can't see them but like you see I can move them, I have a box light that just gives us a bit of bit better illumination. 13. What is the best piece of advice you can give to another booktuber? Just do it, just do it, don't think I've got to do what everybody else is doing, I've got to do all this YA, do what you like read what books you want to do it's your channel you know if you want to read predominantly non-fiction talk about that do it if you want to read predominantly um books on cinema and talk about those do it if you want to read predominantly plays do it it's your channel do whatever you want with but just do it you got nothing to lose and everything to gain. It's such a great community and it's so much fun watching people's videos and watching, you know, everybody's response to various things, like what books they're reading, what books they want to read. And it's a, just a great place to be. And finally, 14, what is the best part of having a booktube channel? The best part is finding out all the new books that you can read. It's all you guys out there who are watching that make it possible to make these videos. You, you tune in and you watch the videos and you comment. It's great. I have read so many more books this year that I maybe would not have picked up because if I hadn't had a booktube channel, I've gone out and bought more books that I wouldn't have because I, I wanted to read them to talk about on my channel I wouldn't have necessarily picked up and read I'm reading more diversely I'm reading more uh, contemporary fiction I'm reading a lot of YA which I never used to do most of my reading used to be predominantly cinema related non-fiction with a couple of thrillers thrown in now I'm reading far far wider so that is what I think so that is the booktube anniversary tag thank you book your, book your imagination for tagging me now this is a, a, a book uh, tag that's open to anybody um as long as you're around your uh, anniversary tag so yeah it's up to it's up to you if you want to do it if you want to join in let me know what you think below if you want to do this tag leave me a comment below and i will tag you in the description so that's it from this one i hope you're all having a lovely day happy reading bye guys